Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, dear yogis here at Our Echo. Thank you for practicing with me today. It is a little chilly, so we will get nice and warm and fluid in a moment. Today's practice will be an all body rejuvenation. And yeah, what I'm inspired by in this moment is ah, this expectation in relationship to the world, in relationship to relationship that we have this idea that certain people have rights to our presence, that our <clears throat> coworkers, our employers, our partners, our parents, our, eh, our children, they have rights to our presence. But no one has the right to our presence that we don't choose to give that presence to. And the reason that I speak this is for so many of us, we are shut down to actually what our needs are, what our boundaries are, what our likes are, what our dislikes are, where we feel safe, where we feel that we bloom. And we plant ourselves in lots of gardens that don't water us. And so we stay in them and we stay because we've committed and we want to be the good employer, the good partner, the good lover, whatever it may be, until we're so depleted that we erupt, you know, like a, a dormant volcano. We just, things are taken, 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 taken until we just, we blow up. So the reason that I speak to this is it's important to know what your no is and what your yes is. And it's important to know, like, do you want to go to that meeting? Do you want to be really in that relationship? Do you want to spend time with that friend? Do you want to show up for that job? Because your most precious resource is your time and your attention. And the world is trying to buy it right now in so many ways. You are being sold left and right, lifestyles and different avatars and cultures and belief systems. And you think that you have to, you know, you have to take it but you get to choose. Like you really get to choose. Like you get to build from the foundation up of who you want to be. And yes, we're indoctrinated and we come with a set of certain beliefs and culture and gender and race from a very early age, but we actually have the choice to drop those constraints and decide who it is that we think we are, what it is that we think we're doing here. We get to have that choice if we allow ourselves to, if we wake up one day and we say, actually, what is my yes? What is my no? Who is, who is it that I think I am? And do I actually choose to be in this life? Do I choose to be in this relationship, this situation, this culture? You know, what boxes am I putting myself into? So the invitation today is to know, I don't want to sell you anything. I want to give you back to yourself. And that's the greatest gift that we can give for each other is actually, I don't want to take you. I don't want to sell you my belief system or my way of life. I want to give you back to yourself through the practice of yoga so that you can decide who and what it is that you believe yourself to be. So let's practice. <sighs> A child's pose with all those words. Let's go ahead and bring the forehead down to the earth, stretch the arms forward. Humbly coming down to the earth, grounding in, connecting with breath in and out of the nostrils. Set an intention for your practice. Let's take an inhale, come up to tabletop position. Inhale, belly drops, look forward and up. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops, look forward and up. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops. And exhale, round the spine. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale. Come back to neutral. Stretch the left leg back behind you, toes tucked towards the ground, reach the right arm forward, balancing. Pull the belly in. Let's take an inhale. And exhale, bend the left knee, reach the right hand back, press the left foot into the right hand, open the chest, look forward. Inhale, lengthen out. And exhale, bring the right hand down. Now stack the left hip on top of the right, swivel the right foot behind you. Reach the left arm up and set the left foot down. Left arm reaches forward, spin the chest open, modified side plank. So nice and open through the front line. Let's take an inhale, come back around. Pull the left knee into the chest and set the left knee behind the left wrist. Sit up nice and tall, extend the right leg by, back behind you. Peel the chest up, pull the left hip back, and slowly come down. You can come down to the forearms. If you need to build um, a bit under that left hip, you can bring a pillow or a block, couch cushion. Getting into the left glute, into the right quad. You can stay down, or you can come up onto the hands, bend the right knee back behind you, reach back with the right hand, pull the right foot in, maybe into the right elbow crease. Left arm stretches up, and maybe take the hands together. So these are certain bus stops. You don't have to go all the way in. Pick if you want to be reclined down, or if you want to be more active. Push the chest forward if you've taken this bind, though. Release the lower back. Relax the shoulders and set the right foot down, hands to the earth, press back, downward facing dog. Let's inhale, come down to the knees, reach the right leg back, now toes tucked under, left arm forward, pull the belly in. Inhale, bend the right knee, reach the left hand back, open the chest, press up. Open the chest deeply. And extend out again. Left hand down, swivel the right hip on top of the left, left foot behind you, set the right foot down, reach the right arm forward, spin the chest up. Modified side plank. Nice and long through the right side body. Continue to focus on the breath in and out of the nostrils. Soften the muscles in the face. Inhale. Exhale, right hand comes down. Swivel the left foot in. Right knee pulls forward behind the right hand. Lengthen the left leg back. Pigeon pose. So nice open chest. Bring that right hip back, left hip forward. Recline, fold down. Peel the chest up if you'd like. Bend the left knee back behind you. Left hand reaches back and forward. Maybe pulling the left foot into the left elbow crease. Right arm stretching up, maybe binding. Open the chest, lengthen the lower back, relax the shoulders, relax the muscles in the face. Let everything go, hands to the earth. Step back, downward facing dog. <clears throat> and let's pause in downward facing dog. Let the chest come back towards the thighs, press the palms in, heels down. The head drops towards the earth a bit. 
And step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, left leg nice and long. Lizard's pose. And we're gonna take an inhale, drop the hips down, look forward. Exhale, round the spine, straighten the right leg, pull in. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and pull in. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pull in. Inhale. Exhale, lift and round in. Inhale. This time, exhale, come up <clears throat> to neutral. Bring the left knee down. Reach the right arm up and open. And then reach the right leg or the right arm back behind you. Bend the left knee, take a hold of the left foot, and you can roll onto the outer blade of the right foot. Drop the left hip a bit. Open the chest. Press through the left palm. Keep the chest opening up. Getting into that left hip flexor, left quad. Let go of the left foot. Hands to the inside, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, outside the left hand. Drop the right knee down, inhale to hover, open the chest. Exhale, lift, straighten, and round in. Inhale, bend, open the chest. Exhale, round and straighten. Inhale, bend. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, neutral. And drop the right knee down. Bring the right hand out to the side just a bit. Left arm reaches up. Bend the right knee, reach back with the left hand, pull the chest open. You can roll to the outer blade of the left foot. Drop the right hip a bit. Let go of the right foot, step back, downward facing dog. Let's slowly walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Take your time. Feet hip width distance apart. Ragdoll. Take a hold of opposite elbows. Let the head drop in. Lengthen through the back line. Release. Hands to the earth, take the feet wider, sink the hips down, yogi squat. Sink up nice and tall through the spine, lengthen, relax the face, continue to breathe. Inhale, slowly press to the feet, begin to lift. Straighten up, inhale. Open and exhale, sink into the squat. Nice and slow, inhale, press the feet, lift, open the arms. Slight back bend and exhale in. Inhale, lengthen, reach up. And exhale, hips back and down, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthen, back bend. And exhale down. Nice and slow. Inhale. And exhale. Stay here. Left foot out or left hand outside the left foot, right arm reaching up, open the chest. Keep that left shoulder hugged in the inner left knee. Open the heart. Now bring the right hand down to the outside of the right foot. Reach the left arm up. Open the chest. Mm 
and set the hands down. Let's bring the right hand down behind you, left hand down and behind you, sit, and bring the feet in a diamond shape, or the legs in a diamond shape. We're gonna take a nice inhale, open the chest, take a hold of the shins, and exhale, slowly come forward, keep the spine straight, use the elbows to press the knees open, lower the chest to your level, so don't push to go deeper than you need to today. Keep the spine straight. Continue to breathe. Peel the chest up. Take the feet out in front of you. Take an inhale, reach up. And exhale, slowly fold forward. Nice straight spine. When the spine begins to round, that is your note to pause there. Hands can come down alongside the legs. Maybe you need a couch cushion or some bolsters, pillows on top of the legs. The chest can lay down there. Peel the chest up. Let's bring the left or the right shin on top of the left shin. So right shin on top of the left shin and the toes dorsiflex towards the shins. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Some of you might have a big gap under the right knee. Bring a couch cushion or a bolster there. Sit up nice and tall. And when we exhale, we slowly walk forward. Keep the spine straight. So you might need to stay quite upright if you're really tight in that right glute or you might need to come down, elbows onto the shins, or some of you might be able to get all the way down to the ground. This is a very tight posture for me, so I'm not gonna go too much further than this. Peel the chest up and turn towards the right. Open the chest. Right hand down behind you, left hand on the right knee. Let's move in the other direction. And come forward. And bring the left shin on top of the right. Dorsiflex the toes, peel the chest up, inhale. And exhale, slowly walk forward. So I can go a little bit lower on this side, as you notice. You might notice some asymmetry in the body. This is fine. Keep the spine nice and long. Relax the muscles in the face. Relax the body. So notice if you're contracting or constricting to go further than your limit. This is the perfect time to practice the essence of this. Like, what's your yes and what's your no? Are you doing something just because I'm leading you there? I am not your... Uh, your curator, the chief of your body, you are. So this is about being like, hmm, actually, no, I don't want to go that deep. So we've got to take back our power to make choices for ourselves. So I am here simply as a sounding board of what you need. I'm here to give you tools to experience your limitations and your expansions. You might be able to go further than me. You might need to go a little bit less and that's beautiful. Let's peel the chest up. Turn to the left, right hand on the left knee, left hand behind you, open the chest. It's important that we look at our teachers, our lovers, the people in our life that we collaborate with and notice if they respect our yeses and nos and if they encourage our yeses and nos. We need more leaders that encourage us to say no, even to them. Let's come forward to the right. 
Mm, beautiful back through center. Let's take just an easy seat here. Hands to the front of the knees. And we're just going to make some Sufi circles. So let the chest come down. And bend the elbows. Let the head drop in. And we're just moving from side to side. Mm. I'm getting into the side bodies. Move in the opposite direction. Back to center and drop right ear to right shoulder. And don't go too far. Know your edge. It's so important for us to discover our edges. Don't go point past the point of discomfort into pain. We just want to lengthen. Back through center, left ear to left shoulder. And chin to chest. Come back to center. Inhale, reach up with the arms. Exhale, hands to heart. Moving nice and slow to ground our energy. Inhale, release, release and reach up. And exhale to the heart. Let it be soothing to the system. Move slow without rigidity. Inhale, up. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, reach up. And exhale to the heart. Let the head drop in just a bit. Let's take this minute to come into silence together, stillness. Think of our intention for today, tonight, whatever space we may be in. How can we tune in more to the heart, the body, the mind, the spirit? It's yes and it's no. How can we start speaking from a place of truth and not from a place of another person or establishment or constellations, set norm? Stepping out of the good girl, good boy archetype and into, yeah, sovereignty. What is my yes? What is my no? And deep bows towards yourself, your own needs, your own desires, your longings. They are so important to the collective. Your voice matters, dear one. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here. <sighs> yeah, tune in each week or each, each other week for new practices. And feel free to check out the guest teachers and the meditation practices, mindfulness practices. Do what you can to live in this very fast world at a slow pace. Take care of your nervous systems and yeah, reach out in all the links below for upcoming retreats and trainings and one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, yeah, we're all in this together. All alone together. <laughs> Have a beautiful day.